everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, Lazy Cat Reactions. This is episode six of season one of I Hate Susie, titled Guilt. So I'm guessing in this episode, this is where Susie's going to feel guilt for what she did and everything. It looked like she was kind of mending things with the family a little bit, like when she'd gotten that email from Disney. Because, I don't know, her husband just kind of seemed to be in like a better mood and everything. I could be completely wrong on that. But that's just kind of how it seemed, you know? So, as I said in the last video, I don't think she should have quit her job there, the zombie thing. And she definitely should not have opened her mouth about the whole thing regarding cocaine. I think if she hadn't done it, Maybe they still would have gone ahead and taken further looks, uh, further look at the photos and said, yeah, this can't happen. But it seemed like they were all cool about it because you'll notice the lady on the phone had paused when she mentioned about the cocaine. So I think if she hadn't said anything, it would have been fine. You know? But because of that, that was her blunder. And so it caused them to re-evaluate. Let's get started. I hope Tom shows up. Yeah. 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 Nice to do that. Let's yeah. find oh, out that's first. Because uh, there was nothing in that text oh, yes. that really so seemed incriminating. So I that could have just so been just, him yeah, texting yeah. her, him yeah. asking yeah. her to say, sure. hey, let me know when you get home safe. Um, Why the student's number's in his um, phone, though. I'm used to doing my but at the same time, stop. maybe yeah, if he took yeah, like yeah, a trip with the students, he may have put their numbers in his phone. Not quit. For well, reasons, you know, in case he had to contact them. So that could be legit. Smudge it, smudge it. There could be a reason for that. But the little X well, now I'm my friends. But it wouldn't surprise me if that's the case. <laughs> Sorry, start again. Okay. One, two. Oh, oh, God. 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 Oh, Oh, you're not rushed yet, so it's okay. Oh, she. So what's going to happen when he opens up his phone and he sees that there's a continuing conversation that he did not initiate? Because there's not a lot that is. I don't see that when something's pure out of Show, you 
much like guilt I didn't I don't think you know there wasn't too much it was kind of nice things are happening we might have an affair going on on Cobb's side but like I said the good thing is he was able to get it up with Susie Gray and he could have been thinking about someone else but and he apparently did come which is why she took the abortion pill because he from what they said in the last episode Cobb apparently did want more kids but she didn't which is valid you know if she only wants the one I mean she's one that's carried the damn thing for nine months so if she doesn't want any more she don't want any more I thought this family dynamic I mean obviously it's a dysfunctional and I thought it was just kind of weird and fucked up and like I said I thought I thought there was a little too much going on with the wedding like why did we have to have all that you could have shown some of the dancing and then cut something else it just felt like it kind of dragged a bit I thought um and so it was also kind of funny seeing her seeing uh Susie and Cobb you know having sex and then Naomi having sex with that other woman and you know it's when she talked about a cesarean why all of a sudden Naomi is like obsessed with having a kid I have no idea I don't know why anyone's ever obsessed with having a kid um, but I mean yeah I guess I could be kind of a, a surprise at first you know if you're going down on a woman and you see a scar like oh you had a kid okay but she said that the kid was 17 so she obviously had her early but so who knows if Naomi's gonna continue to see that woman or not but just like I said this is a really good show I just though I'm still kind of like 
what? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's still kind of confusing. Uh, like the next episode coming up apparently is called Anger. So, you know, we have, was it supposed to be like the five stages or something? And you have like denial, acceptance, grief, whatnot. And anger is one of the stages. Obviously with this being eight episodes, they've had to add a few things like bargaining. Um, or guilt. The next one is anger, which I do believe is one of the, you know, one of the stages. But as I said, are we going to see that girl in the yellow rain jacket again? I mean, why was she a one-off? Talked about a stalker releasing the address and then that's it. Okay, are we going to see her again? Is she going to show up? What are you going to do? Isn't he cute? He's sleeping there the whole time. I wish I could just plop down anywhere and go to sleep, you know? Anyways, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Hit that notification bell to be alerted of future reacts. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you can. I will see you for episode seven. Two episodes left of season one. And I am happy that I have decided to do this. And I also like that there's not a ton of episodes, you know? Like, there's eight episodes in season one, three episodes in season two, obviously total of 11. And, you know, I like that. I like that there's not huge seasons, unlike a show like Heartland. <laughs> um, but I like that there's not huge seasons and that there's not a lot. I think that keeps people more intrigued and more engaged. But I will see you for the next episode. Bye.